Hey there guys, it's Ronnie, welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, we're going to be recording the first episode of the Avalon Let's Play. Uh, I don't know what episode is in the real series of the Wizard World, but yes, for you to find out. So today, we're going to be talking to Headmaster Immortal Ambrose about what we have to do to get into Avalon. So let's go and talk to him right now. I was reflecting on Morgath's recent schemes. It is time for you to learn more about the Council of Light and Avalon. What is Avalon? Why, it is the world I come from. I will tell you more, but first you must learn of the Council of Light. Find the Emperor of Mushu in the Jade Palace. Ask about the Council of Light. Return here when you are finished. Greetings, esteemed wizard. It has been a long time since Mushu was graced with your presence. <laughs> If you would learn about the Council of Light, you must study the Scrolls of Light. However, the path is not so easy. They are held in the Tower of Absolute Being, in the Jade Palace, and are guarded by the fierce Jade Oni, Nika Skaka. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna have to go against the Mika Saska. Guardian, that is the life boss, which has a life minion. They can heal, they can do all sorts of interesting stuff. Um, I've read up about him before, so this is going to be a fun thing. And by the way, guys, I do know that I can use the 2 person amount glitch, which I have a 2 person amount here, the Skyvern. This guy here, but we're not doing that. Why? We're not cheap people. We're nice, legitimate people that use Swift Shadow. Is I like the shift shadow. Plus, it shows life mastery and a wand. See? Okay, here we go with the tower absolute being. I'm gonna be making my deck, and yeah. You should not be here, wizard. The light of truth can be blinding. Okay, guys, we are back. I have decided what I should be doing with my uh type of card deck selection. So let's go and take a look here. So we have Max Colossal, a couple of Satyries with our Light Mastery. About two Basculus, two Humongous Frogs, two Medusas, two Ninja Pigs, uh, four Faints, four Spirit Blades, four Myth Blades, and a Reshuffle just in case we fail. We are using our Life Mastery Amulet right over here, which is going to help us to use these Satyries officially. We have full Myth uh, Water Words gear. Which is the Trishki set, the Lexicon Blade, which is from Tower to Hellfant from the first boss. We have Created Ring of Battle, which is, well, the best thing I can get for damage. And uh, this span is from the last boss of Water Rush Leor, or Water Rush uh, Hellfant, which is Leor Lord Striker, if I recall. Uh, pet is we're using Lord Pebbles, uh, three heals of a cast. Health gift, and well, spell proof. Best bet I have, and well, better than the damage pet because it is more defensive. Gets us 40 resist, 60 myth damage, 19 accuracy, 139 myth critical, 95 blocked everything, and yeah, this type of stuff. So let's go, and I hope that nothing bad happens to us. And I chose not to use our minion because I think he would not be useful enough. I mean, he could, but. We're not in PvP. Uh, he's uh, squishy. Squishy, though, it's weird. Um, he's tanky gay. Ooh. Ah, Mr. Mushu music. Oh, my Mushu. Good old fan of Mushu. Mushu is just like the best world ever. Tell you the truth, the best idea is probably just go in Medusa. The student have been like. Do a super Medusa on him? Probably a good idea. When you think about it, that's a good way to get rid of them. Because I don't want that minion, that minion's to be a troll. Uh, we'll do this. Yeah, I think we'll be fun. That boosts the life, I forgot. I know death does definitely. Uh, I think sicker days are like, balance. Oh, Forest Lord, yay. Yeah. Um, balance, Ice, and Storm. Storm's paint primary, because Smith is the opposite to Storm. Eh, we'll see. We'll see the epicness here. Let's 
Okay, well, if I was a double forest sword, I would have laughed. But can a minion do a forest sword to the wiki? Uh, minion can do forest sword, so that's pretty evil. Uh, by the way, I wonder where I'll get all the information. Um, if you just Google their names in Google, you'll find out a their their uh, location on the internet, such so as like Wizard One on Central Wiki, because that's a like wonderful place to search up. Them. Uh, if I put a fint as a guarantee GG, it might be more than... Actually, this might be overkill, but... I don't trust that life minion. Can you do rebirth, uh, min guy? Uh, re oh, yes, he... Okay, um... Might be very unlucky, we'll find out. We just have to hope that when we uh, attack, the boss won't use a heal all spell, because if, you, if a boss uses a heal all spell... Ooh, boss goes gay. Uh, if a boss uses a heal all spell, we sort of get screwed over because that revives the minion with uh, the pips that they start off normally when you go into the battle. Which really sucks, but yeah, uh, let's we'll put another blade on for next time. Good idea, and yeah, a good smart idea would be if we actually packed in a spirit blade TC card. That would actually make our life really, really easy because there's an extra 40% myth blade. Oh well, we'll be fine. We can hit multiple times. Uh, normally, like a one hit KO, but oh well. It's like critical might be really great if we uh, get on the uh, boss. Might not because of uh, percentage issues of going through. But know the exact critical mechanics. Pretty sure it's like once you critical, they have a certain percentage of blocking, and some people say, no, you're wrong, you're pathetically wrong, and that type of stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's just basically a percentage of uh, critical even percentages of blocking. Pretty sure, because think about it mathematically, I mean, you get numbers for like critical and critical block, but that's actually a bit mistaken, in a way, mathematically, think about it. Ooh, no block, yay. Think of that, that works so well as lucky. 10k? Oh, that would be hard to kill him with a faint. So think of it as a test sub. Oh, wait. Okay, good, you can't do anything to revive him. Funnily enough, uh, as a fun fact here, this boss here. Um, I want to heal soon enough. Uh, that boss over there, the Mika Shiraka, is actually um, the Jade Oni's cousin, conveniently. And Jade Oni's cousin has the same drop, so all the interesting gear that you can get from Jade Oni almost always drops for him. Uh, or can. So, like the cool wands that the Jade Oni has, this guy has most likely the uh, one of the crown items, which is like a level 35 item that gives like health, resistance, and damage. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll come from here. We don't need you. This, if we. Discard, we're pretty much screwed. Probably don't need you, but I might see why. Next round will heal, because we're not taking chances here. I mentioned how much I love life. As I mentioned, this is the trolley power to the universe. <sighs> we'll heal next turn, because we didn't got a power pip. This is what happens, you have 73% of power pips. Choice. Go at you. Don't you do. There's only one heal will be necessary. I mean, yeah, we're being spit saved here, but from all my adventures on this wizard, I've noticed as a myth wizard, you probably need to heal more, and since I have a life mastery now these days and power pips to spare, we might as well use it. At least we have a normal pip at the moment. This is a normal pip. I was expecting that. Okay, come on, it could be a normal blade. Hey, look, normal blade. Okay, ah, uh, that's good. That's good. So let's do that over there, make sure our uh, headphones are in proper proportion here. Good, we power through the black mantle of 45% negative accuracy of doom destruction. Hey look, Sarah, critical? No. Oh. Dang, this guy's a critical on me. Hmm, I think his percentage would be high. Or highish, or who knows. Ninja pigs for the lols. We have a blaze, all we gotta do is just wait for our chance to use Basilisk, which will be soon enough. And for anyone that's been wondering how in the world my um, power pips decided to work for life, it is called we're using a mastery. Masteries allow a wizard to use their power pips on other schools that they are not normally uh, mastered in, you can say. So, as a myth wizard, normally you would only be able to use power pips on myth spells. 
But if you have a mastery amulet, that will allow you to use power pips on your normal school and your um mastery you choose. So in this case, I have a life mastery, which allows me to use my power pips on life spells, meaning I can heal up really quickly. So let's go to for the Basilisk of Glorious Amazingness, and this will probably kill. Actually, eh, multiple things would have been nice, but it's probably should do enough damage because this spell is pretty good. It is like 1200 in total. With Colossal. Oh yeah, that's gonna kill. Stone immune, yay. <laughs> Let's just see it. Okay, overtime sucks. Uh, 695. Let me see. That should not do much to me, I think. Let's see. 695 times 3. Yes. Not that great. Could have done better. There's no moment I've played. Eh. Oh well, I'll probably just ninja pig to finish it off. Oh yeah, I know why I didn't do much, because it, it was a faint applied to the whole spell, that's the sucky part about it. Mm. And this is why we hate the uh, that spell there. Yeah, that spell there is us as evil. Well, that's what we have ninja pigs for, which we'll be able to do in two rounds. As the weird camera angles come, but... Again, we haven't used that spell on the stream slash video. Hello, Seraph. Um, yeah, we might as well do it. Even though we could have probably killed better with a Medusa, or, or more efficiently with a Medusa. It's not going to be good, I might have to reshuffle. Yeah, not to self, don't use Basculus. Unless you have like 500 billion faints if you plan on using faint. Critical, that would have been great, but... And critical is a nice convenience in my opinion, that's what it is. At least we get to maybe have a finishing move of the uh, Ninja Picks. Uh, Criticals is gonna be. No, 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 no. That's fine. Still gonna do a lot, though. Should do a lot. 60. Yeah, that should be good enough, Poppy. Ooh, 2655. That sucks for me. Because normally that's like 1500 something. Hmm. 235 places doesn't help that. Okay, guys, I'll be back with more cards. Okay, guys, we are back from the intermediate time it took me to accumulate four normal pips, or power pips, so luckily it was four normal pips, so it didn't feel that bad wasting stuff, so here we are. Let's go ahead and blade up, and this guy's gonna die soon enough. Sorry for the inconvenience of the um, length of the fight. I was expecting that Basilisk would do more, but again, that's the um, sad reality we live in with um, how that works. What? Oh, just put a thing in. We, we'll do Medusa because that's what we do. Are you editing? Here. Okie dokie. Let's see. The almighty cause everywhere. She don't need you. And... I have a feeling I need the extra blade, but I probably don't need it. Eh, might as well. Well, life mastery is good for almost every class other than life because, well, it's a good thing to use for amulet slot because you don't do that much in your amulet slot anyway, so might as well. Um, as a myth, it's nice because you don't have any healing spells of your own, and healing is very nice to heal yourself back up to more health and then destroy the enemy. That's what I like to do. Is what uh, healing? I would have been dead. That's gonna need sketchiest health, but that's fine. He's gonna be dead anyways. If not, I have another healing spell. Uh, wait, let's do this. Here we go, Medusa, and then he's dead. I think as a death wizard, you have a lot of death spells that can help you. The problem is they're affected by blades, and let's just say you don't want to waste your blades, but you want to heal, but you don't, but you want to go for a super mega hit. I don't know. As he critical and blocks out those percentages, meaning that I'm a key, but that's normal. Hey, well, look, I was right. <laughs> uh, do you see why extra blades important? Yeah, extra blades are essential. This is why you keep trolls in your deck, because you'll otherwise you'll be troll. Uh, that's why I have ninja picks. Anyways, I'll be back when I have ninja picks available. 
Power Pep Gaming. Here we go. And Ninja Pig still wrapping up in the world of Mushu here. Sorry about the fight not being conveniently short. This is just what happens when we um, do not use the proper Medusa with the proper setup. This is what happens, but well, oh well, we'll live with it. Okay, so let's use this scroll a light right new. Eh, crappy gear. <laughs> what? <laughs> What do we got? <laughs> Level 35 gear from a minion, I bet. Actually, wait, another main guy. Oh well. Okay. You carefully collect the scrolls of light. You are the first one in generations to read them. The scrolls are the recollections of the Emperor of Mushu, detailing the formation of the Council of Light. In the year of the Red Comet, blanketed by shadow, the world of Zafaria called for help. A council of light was born. The council consisted of Earl Emrose, Lydia Greyrose, Diego the Duel Master, and my humble self. With King Achebe, King Zitu Zibu, King Caleb, and Queen Elissa, the Spider Temple was broken, and the shadows were driven out. The Council of Light kept watch for new shadows throughout the spiral, for evil can never be destroyed, only driven back. Okay, that was pretty freaking awesome, so let's use our potion, and by the way, I will refill this back to full potions, full three potions, because I'm OCD about having my potions over, um, really be perfectly nice and matched, all filled up, because having two out of three just sucks. And I like having full health as well, and like full stats are always nice in my opinion. Um, energy doesn't really work that way unless you have energy elixirs or well, buy crowns slash use energy elixirs because this is like this we feel thing that happens here, but that's eh. That actually happens here as the button comes in. I just like that the uh, in order to talk to the emperor, you have to go through a sizzle. I, I think it's pretty hilarious instead of like a door, but again, because there's a boss fight. It's, some boss fights here? Yeah, it makes sense. It's pretty funny though. I like how it works, so it's pretty great. Uh, now we have to make the long and arduous, arduous journey all the way up to the Emperor. Oh, choice. It is good to see you again so soon. I trust the Jade Oni did not cause you any difficulties. The Council of Light has allies wherever there are those pure of heart. Avalon, Maribo, Grizzleheim, Mirage, even Polaris. You should return to Headmaster Ambrose in Wizard City and tell him what you have learned. What I find funny about this game and other various games made by Kingdom of Cock Off Pyro 101, they mention a lot of other worlds that are not even programmed yet. It's just funny. Anyways, I'll meet you back into Mortal Ambrose in the comments. Oh, it is hard to believe it was so long ago. I feel as if a great shadow has come to Wizard City. Let us speak to Gamma at once. My word be, what was that? It came from Gamma's room. Ooh, we gotta talk to Gamma. What could be in here? We'll find out soon enough. Hello, Ambrose. And look, you've brought your pet wizard with you. Now that I've reclaimed my deck of shadows, I'm going to rewrite the spiral. This is your one chance to join me, or else be washed away in the tide of chaos. You were once the best and brightest, but you've dwelt in the shadows too long. Your path leads to naught but ruin and sorrow. I expel you with a banishing spell. Ah! You will regret this day, I swear. Shadow take you all! Oh, I had hoped it would not come to this. But clearly Morganth cannot be left unchecked. We must stop her. 
horde of kings to defeat Morgant's deck of shadows. Gamma, tell our esteemed wizard what we know. Meanwhile, I'll clean up this mess. Morgant, ah, she once tried to hit me with a woolly mammoth. Guys, keep in mind of what Gamma said about the woolly mammoth. It will be important. If you know I'm all the way about the Morganth and the final bosses of Avalon, you understand everything. Okay, let's talk to Gamma right now. The Sword of Kings. Oh, it is the legendary blade of Avalon, once held by King Artorius, greatest of kings. Hmm, his memory is preserved by the Knights of the Silver Rose. Here is the spiral key to Avalon. Go there and ask the first knight you see to point you to young Perry. He had charge of the Sword of Kings, last I knew. Okay, let's start to uh, Peaky Del Logo. I just like how, like, we're hearing Morgoth's theme. This is, like, Safari of Morgoth's theme here. Ooh, Morgoth. So this is gonna be a pretty freaking awesome world. Like, I like what they did with the Avalon entrance sequence. Like, I haven't really seen him. I mean, I heard stuff about him and all types of things. Okay, guys. Before we actually go to Avalon, we're going to go to uh, Safadia in the Bail Bob Crossroads because our tra our tradition we have in the uh, Let's Play is to go to the Last World before we actually go ahead and pop uh, our spiral key into the spiral or to, into a spiral door and go to the New World. In this case, is Avalon, and the world before Avalon is uh, well Safadia. So we're going to go to Safadia. Uh, spiral door. This is this door, and we're gonna go over here. Avalon, I want to say goodbye to Safari and hello to Avalon, which is a pretty cool world. What I heard from it. 